Mr Haddock and I'm here in sunny Newquay with Ben Sibley of Chris Sibley Groundworks. Ben, just seen you doing some nice trimming up here and as well as using your Leica system to get the levels for the next plot here on the house building site. Tell me a little bit about your experience as an operator and also uh, you're using Leica Geosystems for, for some time now and you've got a new machine on the way, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been operating for nearly, what, 11 years now. Um, and I've obviously noticed a change from obviously just a standard Geef quick itch to the Encon and the Leica now. I wouldn't change it now. I wouldn't go back whatsoever, really. I mean, it's just changed everything, like the engineering costs to just getting on site and being able to just start work. You know, it's, it's just changed everything, really. You literally were able to track up here and start levelling out this plot and yeah. straight away, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, there was no waiting for a photo, like uh, waiting to ring the engineer and, you know, get him out on site and stuff like that. It was just literally turn up, put the domes on the screen in and it was away you go. You, you start straight on to the, your next job sort of thing. And tell me about the combination between the Leica Geosystem system, the 3D machine control yeah. and the Encon you've got there as well, which is, you know, a, a very capable unit, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it picks up all the rotate, the tilt got it set so I've calibrated with the Encon buckets and without oh, okay. so I can take the Encon off and then carry on doing like deep drainage or like if I've got a deep foot in I can drop the Encon unit off still use the Leica at the same time. Hey right so how does that work because obviously you work with one point servo don't you yeah, that, that yeah. help you set up the machines have they helped you do that as well? Yeah so Lee Knowles and Rob Elliott and um, everyone from Leica really helped out with that so basically I calibrated all the buckets with the Encon on, so the grader, everything else, the two foot, the 18 inch. And then I also done a recalibration again, where I just dropped the Encon unit off, and it um, calibrated the just the standard hitch, basically, with the, the same amount of buckets on. So I've got two calibrations. And what's interesting, folks, is the calibrations you're talking about sit in the cradle, don't they? So yeah. you can take that tablet out and use it on another machine, whereas as soon as you plug it in, it, it knows this yeah. machine, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it picks everything up straight away come straight up on screen and it just depends on what bucket I've got on I just click the bucket change and away you go. And how do you find the little sort of LED light bar scenario do you use that much because uh, I, I see operators going oh, I use it or don't use it. I mean yeah I don't I don't necessarily tend to use it I just sort of wait to hear the beep sort of thing obviously it comes up in the left hand corner anyway so I mean my eyes can only take in so many things at once. <laughs> Absolutely and so that beep what's that telling you? Uh, so that's telling me when I'm down to grade, you know, um, when I'm down to the right level of what I've put in. So obviously I've got the level of the lowest finished floor level and then I put my own offset in to what I want to go down below the finished floor level, which usually is like the top of 150 mil lower than block and beam. Then it's just dig the foot in and then it's then I haven't got to touch it again, just oversight, backfill. So the model you just said it there is for the site like that, but then you've said offset there. How easy is it to do oh, an offset? So easy, so easy. It's literally a case of two buttons and then you're away. You type in what measurement you want by working it out and you're, you're away then. So the control is there. You've got all the opportunity to just track on, get on with the job site. There's a lot of houses being built here in Cornwall. So the pace at which you guys have got to go is quite extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we like to try and stay out ahead, you know, so that we're not getting chased by deadlines. And this is this is helping phenomenally with that, you know, with the footings and everything here. I mean, it's just it's just helped so much with everything, really. You know, we otherwise we're waiting around all the time for engineers and then you've got to try and pick which days they, you want them in and stuff like that. I mean, this just it stops all that, really. So here we are in sunny Cornwall, folks. More house building going on in Newquay. And it's great to see, you know, you being able to, to use all of that system, like a system, the Encon together. But also, you know, the interesting thing is calibrating the buckets. That's interesting to me, on and off with the Encon. So that makes this machine like a ready, whatever you're doing. And therefore, that tilt rotator can go on uh, to another project or another machine. So great to see you out in the sunshine, Ben. Thanks for bringing it. It's been awful weather in the UK for the last yeah. few months. Nice and uh, I believe you're getting a new machine, so we'll have to come and see you in action with yeah, that. Yeah, that'll be coming soon. Obviously, it's got about to have all this taken off and put on that one. So, yeah, we look forward to seeing you again. And that's what's really interesting as well, folks, because that Encon and obviously the Leica system is transferable as well to the next machine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. So it's time to let you get this old one off <laughs> um, so we can get the new one, folks. Cheers. Yeah.